It's either a landscaper out there, or we've got beavers out there in the trees working really Ooh, fast. Yeah. It's still for today. It is. What we're, day is we're it? We're very quiet. It's, it's, it's cleaning Eve is what it cleaning. is. Oh, wow. I am excited. <laughs> it's Signature Glass of wine. wine Day. Here's to you, folks. Mm. Well, <clears throat> let me explain. Oh, dear, I don't. Let me explain to you why. If I had Texas tumblers, he probably would make me. How many people don't even know what a Texas tumbler is? Know. If you know what, if you remember what Texas tumblers were, you let us know. So the other day, uh, we went into the cocktail lounge. I had just poured a glass of wine, first glass, you know, sat it down, went to reach for that glass of wine. What did I do? Knocked it off the coffee table, or end table. Glass, of course, flying everywhere, wine flowing everywhere, on the wall, where it was really scary as it had gone right up against the baseboard, and you could see that there was wine under the baseboard, you know, and there's, uh, we have laminate floor. So he was down there with a paper towel, scooting the paper towel in there. Worked? It did. Just came, you know, just came flowing out. I'm so, going to get her some of those sippy cups. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> They oh, kind of yeah, rock, oh, and they have a little uh, <laughs> mouthpiece on uh, it. I just, I just kind of lost it there for a moment. Well, I actually hit it. She's a wee bit high strung. I anyway. am a wee bit high strung. That's the truth. Well, guess what, my dear friends, we have a list today. As you might tell, I got a haircut, my own creation. That's right. She went to uh, the Jilford Today Salon. Yeah, she did a pretty good job. You know what's. I'm almost all through the coloring. You know, I've colored my hair, as you know, hair challenge for many years, and one of the things is the hair color. And I've gone from one end of the spectrum to the other over the years. If you look back at old videos, you say, who is that? Well, it's her with another hair color. Well, I've decided to go all natural, and I clipped off just about the last smidgens of little color way There's in the back, little, in the little tiny in the yeah. back. So anyway, I got a haircut. Um, I, uh, I'm not, this is in no particular order. Just very quickly, I wanted to tell you, I think uh, a couple of months back when, you know, we started having all these problems and I was freezing eggs and freezing milk and all that, I had said I had frozen some yogurt, plain yogurt, as a, uh, you know, as an experiment. Well, I said, you know, maybe I'll take it out and see how it is. Don't do it. Do not freeze yogurt. You can't even use it in cooking. It, it came out like... Um, it was bad. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Tell them about Reddit. Reddit? Tell them about Reddit. Oh, somebody, uh, one of the viewers, uh, saw us and thought we were... No. No. What? That's not how it, that's not how it goes. Well, then <laughs> why did you ask me to tell them about it? I'll, I'll set it up. I never get anything right. I'll set it up. I haven't been right about anything since <laughs> 1974. <gasps> We didn't meet till that's right. <laughs> Seventy five. Okay. That's right. And since we met, I haven't been right about all Oh silly. Thing. Okay, I'll set I'll set the scene up. Okay. We got a, a comment. I'll continue drinking. <laughs> Me too. We get so few perks in our world right now. Got a nice text a con a conversation from someone who said, Oh my gosh, we you know, we saw someone posted one of your videos at Reddit. Now, I've heard of Reddit, didn't know a thing about Reddit. So sure enough, he gave me a link. It's not a city in Northern California? Reading, Reading. Oh. So here's what it's, here, here was someone had posted the, the link to the video, and it says as a description of, go. A nice older couple. <laughs> and they wish we were their grandparents. A nice older couple. <laughs> Where, Where are you? Where are Where you? Ma? Well, you hey? know, yeah, we, we, you know, we do get comments of, I wish you were gra our grandparents, you know, we think you're just so cute and all that. And honest to goodness, well, I think one of the reasons I feel this way, and probably the same thing for you, we didn't have kids. So for me to think of myself and as... And that's one of the reasons. <laughs> That we wouldn't know. And Nobody I, can call us grandma and grandpa. That's right. They can't. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so when someone says, you know, I say, I'm not old enough to be a grandparent. Oh, yes, you are. 
<laughs> but I don't feel like a grandparent. I'm old enough to be a great grandparent. Yeah, probably, yeah. if you add up the years. So anyway, that was very sweet of whoever posted that video on Reddit. And just keep them coming. You want to post all you want. That's just great. Um, okay. You know... This corona, this COVID nineteen thing, we have cases here in Oregon that are just going bonkers. Wear your masks, please. Gosh, wear your masks. Wash your hands. It's a serious. All the states that are just up into orbit, we've got to put a lid on this. Just put a lid on it. What is it? You're so darn quiet. Nothing. Nothing. Are, are you a, what? Well, the CDC came out yesterday and said we may be under-reporting the number of COVID cases by a factor of 10. We're saying there's how many? Oh, the two, oh God, I don't even know anymore. I don't know. But they say there could thousands. be over 2 million cases. So be careful. Oh, Take care please. of yourself. Um, they're finding that all these... Uh, Family and friends get-togethers. Yeah. These are like super spreader events. Yeah, those and, are like really the ones that are yeah. on the radar right and now. And they had a surprise birthday party somewhere the other day. 18 of the people have now tested positive for COVID. Surprise. Yep. Actually, you know, we took a trip out to Costco and to Trader Joe's oh, over a week ago now. Yeah, I think we told And we said, that. oh, yeah, we did. And we said, oh, you know, this is going to work. Mm -mm. That's it. That was one one. That was an isolated, a one off. We are back home. We are ordering our groceries online, and that's it. Yes. Boom. And, that's it. And there are perks to that too. Like we ordered from uh, Fred Meyer them. yesterday, and got the smallest zucchini in the entire world. I told my niece Lee they they're the size of hot dogs, and I'm not exaggerating. No, they're the size of little cocktail weenies. <laughs> But tell them what we are scoring at Walmart today. Ooh, bread flour. Bread flour for th five pounds for $3.83. Was it King Arthur's? Yeah. King Arthur's bread yeah, flour. Bread flour, wow. Five pound bag at how much? $3.83 a bag. I'll see it when I believe it. <laughs> if it's at that door. It says it's out for delivery. Okay, well, I'll believe it then. So that That's was, an excellent price. Oh, my you gosh. Know, you're going to pay... Almost if you $6. can find it, if you can even find it, you're going to yeah. pay five sixty nine or up yeah. for it. So yeah, no, that was a great deal, and I said that's Take the two. highlight of our week, folks. <laughs> Sorry just about awful. that. Oh my gosh, these older people cases going up. We're not going out shopping anymore. Our movies for the week, and we've been trying to see a movie a day, just one movie a day, and we actually did see some pretty darn good ones. I saw he was uh, napping because he's you know his sleep has just been horrible. So he went down for about an hour and a half, and I watched Double Indemnity with Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray. I think it was 1946. Film Neither noir. of which are my favorite. I know, so that's why I watched the Film Noir at its best. It's really good. But Under the Rainbow, got to see Under the Rainbow. A real cute film. Just yeah. precious. Chevy Chase. Uh, well, it's got a little blueness Adam to it. It's got a little what? A little blueness to it. A little sexual, uh, sexual innuendo. Oh, yes. that there are some, uh, nothing graphic mm, sex, mm, mm, mm. but uh, yeah, there's some sexual innuendo in it. But it's a film about uh, the making of The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, and, and how they brought that movie together. Yeah. Uh, we saw My Man Godfrey, which was, was it William Powell? Yeah, it was an old Depression era film. <gasps> Yes. Oh my gosh, that was. I know. I, I said, which one was that? We see so many. Really interesting. About very a, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's about a forgotten man. Yes. And that was a term they used for people uh, who had lost it all. Lost it all and became what homeless. Homeless. And yeah, and they lived were, in camps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very. Yeah. Right. It's. I mean, it's a very interesting story. Yeah. And it's so. If you we know, like we like William Powell anyway. He was the the thin man, and he yeah. played uh, what uh, what detective did he play? Philo Vance. And okay. Some of the old movies. Oh, I don't remember that. But or uh, Life with Father. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one we saw. Uh, we saw two more. We saw Saboteur. Saboteur. Saboteur with Robert Cummings. It was an old propaganda movie from the But World you know, War one II. thing we noticed about some of these old films, the endings just kind of, <laughs> the movie ends, <laughs> and it doesn't resolve anything, and, and you say, what happened? <laughs> yeah, and Saboteur was one of those. Yeah. yeah, and then the other one we saw was that comedy, <sighs> Apocalypse Now. <sighs> Marlon Brando. 
Oh, well, we hadn't seen that in really a long time. Yeah. And and we saw the extended cut. Don't don't see the extended cut. Don't see it's, it. Oh. I mean, they threw in a sex scene, and it's just you had nothing to no. do with with the whole. No, it was just obligatory kind story of, of the movie. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's just a waste. It was. Uh, the saboteur was very good. It was Alfred Hitchcock. During World War Two, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you could see this was the propaganda. Uh, let's, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, a lot of those films were propaganda. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. Humphrey Bogart did a bunch of yeah. them. And yeah. So those were the films we saw this week, and I'll put links. You know, I did that last time. The IMB, IMB, IMDb, IMDb uh, links. I'll put them down there if you're interested in looking at them. Um, I made a wonderful a couple of salads this week that were just dynamite, just big, beautiful, green, leafy salads and what i used was that fabulous tahini dressing that yeah. you love that i made and i'll actually i'll put what is it now i'll put a link up there to the video that i she's made she's always there. telling me i love things do you love it yeah ralph yeah. you, like, you, you do know, like that you dressing love arugula. you love uh you love red cabbage but you do you yeah. do you did like it yeah you love quinoa yeah I'm doing those quinoa patties today mm -hmm. too. Those are so good. Yeah. All right, um, and I'm not a big salad. I have never been a big salad fan. Salad was what you had to eat to get to the rest of the meal. But she's made some absolute mm. dynamite yeah. salads. Okay. And the other thing I can't get over is the bruschetta with the Campari tomatoes. Oh gosh. I can't believe how good that is. We have eaten so many tomatoes here the I last mean, couple of weeks. For me a sandwich has always been meat and cheese and but boy, just those tomatoes, Fresh tomatoes with basil mm -hmm. and yeah. olive oil and garlic. Oh, so wonderful. good. They're so good. We've been mm -hmm. really enjoying that. Uh, like barbecue caught on fire this week? She's done that before. This time it was all smoke. Uh, last time it was all flames. So. I thought the last time we were going to have to call the fire department. It's a yeah. Traeger, which I love. I love my Traeger. It's a great smoker when it works. Uh, uh, well, we've only had, well, we had a couple problems with it. We replaced the what? The uh, thermostat control box, before, thermostat, whatever it control was. box, now we have to replace the fan. Yeah. So we've had a lot of problems since we bought it. Two problems. That's not a lot. No, you've had a problem trying to get it to temperature ever since you oh, bought it. Oh, the temperature it. thing. But I think you fixed that with a little thing coming down. The little cap. But I think you fixed that. The chimney? Yeah, the little chimney cap. Yeah, I think you fixed that. But yeah, it, it just it, the smoke is just billowing and billowing and billowing all the day. Uh, we went to he we he went to DEQ and tell him what happened at the DEQ. Oh, it was interesting. Uh, first of all, I got there before they opened, figuring I'd be the first one in line. Well, I was about the two hundredth one in line. Yeah, long line. They had a detour, so I'm going down the detour road. And I can see in front of me all the cars are pulling out, crossing the double line. And I figured there's a stalled car in there. Well, no, in the middle of the roadway is this huge peacock with it, all his feathers fanned out. So anyway, that was kind of interesting, something you don't expect on a, a road. Even it's it's in kind a, of an industrial area, wouldn't you yeah, say? Yeah, it is an industrial, industrial area. area? And, uh, it's not rural, but it's on the edge of suburban. Yeah. Anyway, so coming back after I got through the DEQ experience, coming back, I see that this wasn't a rare occasion because there uh, next to the roadway is a permanent uh, traffic sign that says peacocks. Can you imagine that? So uh, yeah. somebody up there must have peacocks. And, uh, and the little peacocks had yeah, more peacocks. Beautiful. but. Yeah, they're beautiful. Okay, so you got through DEQ. Oh, so anyway, the DEQ so experience guys. was really good. It was cool. You have to get your uh, smog control device tested or whatever it is. Should they we put this on hold till they, they step aside? Okay. We're going we're we're gonna gonna to put this, put on, this hold on hold. And we will be back. Until they step aside. I think he's gone away. Okay. All right. Well, well anyway, the DEQ experience was very good. Uh, Guy, uh, people there never get close to you. There's a designated area that you stand and wait while they go through and check your car. They, the only contact you ever have is when they hand you the renewal. So that was cool. Yeah, it's a very and good everybody's thing. wearing masks. You're required to wear a mask if you get out of your car. All right, this has been a real yeah, good one. I apologize. Yeah. Hate to say that people, people Tomorrow hate. we're talking, we're Zoom chatting. Zooming with some friends, yep, we're friends Zooming with some on friends. The other side of the country. 
and which we're always enjoying the zooming. Yeah. And enjoy, we do my family every other other week. Every other week or so. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so we're doing fine. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing really good. We're kind of back into the zone where we're not going out to stores. We're not going to go out to stores. It's been tempting. We said, nope, not yeah. going to do it. We, although the stores we went out to was not a bad experience. We went no. To Costco and Trader Joe's, both during adult senior hours. hours. Yeah. Adult hours, yeah. yes. Now, I, Old I, timer hours. Yeah, we're not going to. Uh, it's too much. If we can avoid it, we're not going to. That's do it. it. If we can avoid it, we won't do it. And that's about it. We didn't really go anywhere this week. No no rides or anything, did we? I don't think we did. Not one. No, we didn't take a ride uh -uh. in the country. No. We need to do that. We do indeed. So anyway, we're doing great. We hope you're doing good. We hope you're staying safe. We hope that people around you are using common sense. And, um, you know, we're thinking about you and hope that everything's going well in your you know your place yeah yes all right yes. well we are happy you're here with us thank you for coming in uh drink your he says to me my good if Stay you went hydrated. through that wine I said, yeah what about it and this is a good time to be hydrated hydrated gotta stay hydrated it's yeah. summer you need to stay hydrated yeah. all right we still haven't figured out costco because sometimes when we order uh -huh. they say we cannot deliver alcohol to this zip code. In the zip code, not address. You probably heard about Jill. Not Bay, address. But, uh, but uh, other times, yeah. can't. No problem. No problem. Don't so. know. Anyway, it's all right. Yeah. All right, my dear. All right. So that's it. Pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> we'll see you all next week. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.